Hi, I'm Kristen of Caseco Arts, and today we will be working on this canvas that we worked on before. We did, <laughs> we tried to do a nature pour on this canvas. We first painted the canvas using unbleached titanium white, hookers green permanent, and phthalo green. It turned out absolutely beautiful. Just wanted to show you guys how it looks first before we add some more things to it. So this is how it turned out. We added a layer of pore medium on here so that it would not mess up the design so you guys can still see the blended colors in the background. This is how it turned out before we add anything else to it. I wanted to add some flowers in between. Um, I'm <laughs> I really debated on whether or not I really wanted to go ahead and add the flowers, but I really do. This kind of gives me coral reef <laughs> on this painting. Uh, let me go ahead and start. I would like for you guys to join me and pay attention as we're about to add on to this beautiful canvas. So again, we have the canvas right here. I wanna go ahead and put it up on my cups so that you guys can see it better. So I'm gonna do that first. All right, that's much better. Now that it's up on its um, on the cups, the colors that I want to add, sorry, as far as the flowers are concerned, Anacrodome Magenta, this is one of the colors I wanna use. And then I also want to use this green color and this green color. And then um, I think starting off, that's probably, this is one flower. And then I am going to use this, plus the quinacridone magenta and a little bit of the titanium white on there. And then also I'm gonna grab yellow as well, because I want it to have some flowers that are different colors on there and I want to show you guys how I'm going to do it. So, okay, I have my yellow right there. So, um, I, in addition, I also have a straw. So this is how I'm going to blow out the colors instead of using my mouth or I may use my mouth and use the straw in order to put the flowers on there. And we're going to see how it turns out in order to, <laughs> in order to make our flowers on this canvas. Again, this is the 18 by 24. It is a level two canvas, one of a uh, canvas, one of my favorites. So let me go ahead and start. So I have, um, let's see, let's see. I am going to put some, it comes out right, put some quinacridone magenta right here in this spot. And add some of this color and some of this color. Very, very pretty colors. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my straw and I'm gonna blow it out in a flower design. <laughs> okay, so let me turn this around just a little bit. I guess that is why I like to be able to have the canvas stands on there. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this back around and have my flower right there. And let's go ahead and add another flower right here with the quinacridone magenta and the greens. Adding this one on top first and then this one. And then again, 
taking my straw and blowing it out. And then I may, let's see, turn the canvas around towards me and add another one. Let's turn it this way. And add maybe one more right there. in this color and then pick up my straw again and blow it out. Okay, and now I'm gonna flip it back around and then add my other flowers. <laughs> it's a lot of moving around. Okay, so I said this one plus the yellow. So just the yellow. And then maybe I'll add a little bit of white. And let's blow this out. These are pretty. These are very, very pretty. I like the white in there. I'm glad I added the white right there. And next I will do one right here. So quinacridone magenta. And maybe next I'll add white and then the yellow on top. And take my straw and let's blow it out again. Okay, and one more at the top with the magenta, yellow, and white. And right here in this empty space. Then we're going to do, uh, I guess we'll do yellow again, and then add white at the top. And take our straw And so we have those. So now I'll flip it back around and do our last color for our flowers, our last color combination for our flowers, which is going to be the white and the turquoise blue. 
and I might go in and add some other colors in here as well, but let's see how this works out. I cannot wait to see how this dries. So down here at the bottom, I am going to add some white, some ultramarine blue, and then the turquoise. And let's see how this flower turns out. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna leave that one alone. And then come and add some up here, maybe one or two of them, and then we'll be done. But so far, I believe this, this is turning out really, really pretty. So I'm going to possibly put one right here. So let's start with the turquoise blue, then go in and add my ultramarine blue, and then add some white and I might as well just go in there with some of this blue as well. And let's blow this out. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so in addition, what I'm going to do, and I just thought of this, um, what I want to do is kind of connect them um, kind of with a vine, and I'm going to do that with some green. Oh yeah. So I'm not gonna put too many petals in there because I don't want to distract from the design. But I'm gonna try to put a little bit in there. And I'm gonna go in with this darker green. And maybe mm, maybe a drop of this, just a drop. Okay. And let's see if we can get that up here. Okay. And again, I don't want to add too many because I don't want to take away, but let me extend this last vine down here. And hopefully I have them all connected. I think this one needs a little bit of a connection. There we go. Okay, so this is the <laughs> this is the bottom. I'm sorry, this is the top, that's the bottom. So let me flip it around and then I'm gonna show you guys the up close of me adding the flowers on here and you guys can tell me what you think. Oh yes. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys in to see how this turned out. Come on in. Okay, so here is how it looks. 
our 18 by 24 canvas. Here are our flowers using blues right here. We use quinacridone magenta and yellow uh, right there. We use quinacridone magenta uh, yellow and white. We added our vines in there, the other flowers in there connected to the vines, add a little bit of a leaf inside of there. Also another one at the top. And when it's all put together, this is how it looks. It turned out absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to see how this dries all together, especially if I were to put a coat of resin on there. You guys, please make sure to tell me what you think of this painting. Well, I would like to thank you guys so much for joining me as we just created some flowers on this painting that we did right here inside of this video. Please make sure you guys go check that out. We added flowers on here along with some vines to bring the painting all together. I'd like to thank you guys so much for joining me. As I always say, number one, stay safe. Number two, stay blessed. And number three, last but not least, no matter what it is in this world that you are personally facing, decide and turn your pain into paintings. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!